So, kick off by opening your three source files, part 06 before 01, part 06 before 02, and part 06 before 03. And it's crucial, of course, you've got your layers palette open, so go to Window and tick Layers, or press F7 if the layers palette isn't visible. OK, let's take a look at part 06 before 01. I'm holding Control and Shift to cycle between my open images. And this shot here has been exposed to capture detail in the sun. Let's go and have a look at part 06 before 02. And here we have exposure for the landscape, but the sun is really overexposed. So we're going to use layer masks to blend the two shots together to get the correctly exposed sun and the correctly exposed landscape. So let's select this one here by going to Select All. Go to Edit Copy and then pop back to part of 6 before 01 and choose edit paste to add the copied layer as a new layer in the layers palette so we've got the layer one at the top there now with the exposure for the landscape and below that we can see the correctly exposed sun everything else is exactly the same because we used a tripod when taking this shot so to mix the two together click on layer one add a layer mask by clicking here and there you have a white mask which is controlling the corresponding pixels and making them completely solid but when we start to put a black brush on the mask we'll start to reveal detail from the background layer below so let's grab the brush choose a nice soft edge brush something like that should do the trick 600 pixels is going to be good make sure the opacity is at 100% to make a nice black brush and then just click on the mask to select it and start spraying and as you spray the black strokes you're making a hole in the corresponding pixels in the adjacent layer there and that allows you to see the uh, sun on the layer below so something like that should do the trick at revealing the sun this is a bit bright here the landscape so what we want to do is kind of mix the two together a little bit more but use a semi-transparent brush and to do that let's take the opacity down to about 40 percent and now we're spraying gray strokes so we're revealing a little bit of both layers and allowing us to slightly darken the landscape in a more atmospheric and dramatic way. So down to about here should do the trick. Let me just alt click on the layer so you can see the black is making 100% transparency and the grey is making a semi-transparent mix allowing us to reveal bits of both of the layers together. Click again to see the combination. Now to help you get your head around what's going on here I'm going to turn off the background layer for a second and you can see now that we're seeing some detail from the top layer. We're not seeing any of the sky we're seeing a little bit of the landscape and we're seeing 100% solid foreground rock. So you can see that the different areas on the mask are allowing us to see or hide particular parts of the attached layer. So let's turn this one back on again to see our composite image so far. We can now go through to our other start image which is this one here with the plants in the foreground. Select that by choosing Control A or select all. Edit copy or Control C and then let's go back to our composite image where you can see our two layers and Control V or Edit Paste will allow us to add this as a new layer. I'm just going to click with the Move tool and drag things down a little bit more to take these foreground flowers down to the bottom of the frame because these are the only bit of the layer that I'm after. And it was actually taken from a different angle so it doesn't really mix with the rest of the shot. OK, I can actually reduce the opacity of that layer to about 50% just so that I can then see how the layer is overlapping the big rock here because we're going to try and hide most of that rock with these foreground flowers. Let's take the opacity back up to 100% and now we can add a layer mask through this top layer to hide all of the layer apart from the flowers. To do that we're going to take the brush tool, we need 100% opacity to make a nice black brush and then click and spray to start hiding the um, detail from this top layer until we get down to the flowers there where we're going to try and keep those visible. If these are getting in the way you can hit tab to get rid of the floating windows and that helps you edit uh, with a cleaner looking window. Okay, so I'm just getting down to the bottom there now where the flowers are starting to blend with the rest of the image. And that's the great thing about brush strokes, they're quite um, organic and soft and help create a fairly effective blend with the flowers and the rock. You can use the left square bracket to take the brush tip down a little bit in size and just gently blend the two shots together like so. Let's hit tab to get the floating windows back up. So we've masked this top section here to actually just reveal the flowers in the foreground. But they're a little bit underexposed so what we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer by clicking here, choosing levels and then we can brighten up the midtones by dragging this slider to the left to around about 1.39. Take this to the left as well to brighten the highlights to about 241 and that is lightening up this foreground area but it's also 
overexposing the rest of the shot. So what we can do is steal this mask and paste it into here to stop the adjustment layer from changing the top sections of the image. To do that you need to alt click on the mask to see it, select all, then click onto this layer here, it's going to be white, if it's not you need to alt click on it to make sure you're actually seeing the uh, layer mask and then go to edit, paste and you should then see the mask appear identically in these two layers. If we just click now on the adjustment layer itself, you can see that when we turn it on and off, it's only now changing the foreground flowers and the rest of the shot is being protected from the adjustment thanks to the black section on the mask. Now you could say the contrast in our shot's a little bit flat, so to increase contrast we can add a new adjustment layer to affect the image as a whole because we've got the exposure pretty much correct now, we've got all the layers combined to see the details that we want to see. To do this, let's go back to the Create New Adjustment Layer icon, let's choose Curves, and up pops a Curve Adjustment Layer. At the moment the curve is a straight line so nothing's being adjusted, but if we go to this section here and choose something like a Medium Contrast, you'll see a nice curve appear which is darkening the shadows and brightening up the highlights. We can take this slider and drag it up a little bit further to brighten up the highlights a little bit more, bring out some more detail in that sun, increase its glow a little bit by increasing the highlight strength. We can also lighten these midtones a wee bit, it's a little bit too dark there, so push that up slightly to um, increase the um, brightness of those midtones. So you can see the output is 77, the input 73. If we click here, you've got an output of 2 on 2 and an input of 165. So if you get the numbers similar to these, then you should get a shot that looks very similar to our final version. And finally our sunrise is looking a little bit too cold but we can warm things up with yet another adjustment layer. So if we go down to find the photo filter option we can then choose a warming filter. Let me just turn that off to show you the before, turn it on again to show you the after and you can see that the golden glow of the sun is now being enhanced and spread out into some of the blues in the sky. So that's just a nice way to finish things off. So you can see that layers and layer masks are very powerful ways to selectively combine the different content of various images together to create a cool composite like this.